Good morning, everybody. Miss Mick here. It is 6.19 a.m. when I'm making this video on uh, this Wednesday, October 14th. So, uh, Miss Mick woke up at 3.30, like, coughing, coughing, coughing. So, guess what? This is day number 10, sick day. Um, I can't come into the school building. Today is the first day that teachers are to um, teach from their classrooms. And um, I, I'm unable to go in because I now have coughing added to my symptoms. Even though my COVID-19 test was negative. So, to my students and my parents in the Columbus City Schools District... Uh, that includes my 11th and 12th graders at the Columbus Downtown High School um, in the subject area of early childhood education. And then, of course, my um, first graders um, in the Columbus City School Digital Academy. Now, I am going to be trying to meet with you guys because I can do uh, time today on video. So, that's still going to happen, but I got to change because I... Um, messed up in my calendar syncing and I have therapy today for the the neck uh migraine whatever that is okay so I have therapy at five um I gotta drive there and then I gotta drive home so I had four parents fill out the google survey and for my first graders and uh uh, the 50% of the people who filled out the survey wanted to do the call at, um, hold on, because now I gotta, I gotta write it, I wrote it down. Um, so they wanted the call today, the video call, to be at the time that I need to be traveling to my therapy appointment. Uh, so, that is five, no, 445. Yeah, so anyways, long story short, I'm going to be sending two new options. Um, I can do like something like a, a 20, 30 minute session before um, I leave for my therapy appointment, which is at five. And then um, it'll be about 30 minutes. I got to drive home. So let's say I'm going to start like a 6.15, I'll do another 30 minute 6.15 p.m. Um, because I don't want to go another day without um, uh, having some uh, synchronous uh, Google Meet time with my first graders. Okay, now my high school kids, you guys are um, asynchronous learning on your own. Um, but I'm just, I'm just checking in. Um, I think I got back with everybody's um, remind messages and emails um, as of last night at 10. Um, so my sleep schedule has been awful. That's not my typical falling asleep time. But, you know, as I'm going through with this, this illness, this virus, or is what they're calling it, virus with the neck pain stuff. So, um. One thing you'll know about Miss Mick is I'm real. So I just want to lay a couple things down this morning. Um, I'm wearing red um, because the teachers union has asked us to wear red um, just to stand in solidarity that um, we are not trying to stay home and not come to the classroom and not be with kids because, because we just want to get paid to be home and do nothing. Um, but, you know, I have pages, notebooks, this is my new one that I started, of, um, you know, what I do, what, what does Miss Mick do in a day, you know, and I label things for CCS Digital Academy, that's my first graders, and then I label things for my high school, uh, students, and, and then I label things that I do in the union for the, for CEA, so this is Miss Mick being real, this is teacher's life okay um i'm also a mom so sometimes i gotta put oh yeah that's right you know that the cchs that's my son's high school he's graduating class of 2021 yeah whoo um first graders and um high schoolers you know i i'm a parent and i work so i know okay i know and um i want you all to know that i am here 
and I'm doing everything I can to help you in this COVID learning environment. When they sent me home, when they sent us all home back in March, you know, Miss Mick still, I mean, I've, I was researching, I was continuing to learn Google Classroom. Um, I, I learned Google Meets pretty quickly. I tried to set up some of that, you know, before school closed. So I have not been just sitting at home, getting a paycheck, doing nothing. First of all, when when my clock starts at 7.15 a.m. for my high school students, and then it ends at 2.45, that's my time in, time out. And then I get like a 30 minute uninterrupted lunch during that time and a 15 minute break or something like that, I don't know. You know, then you got your planning time, you got your analysis of student data and all this other stuff, and then the lesson planning, and then and then I got the teaching, and you got, and I mean, I started teaching and talking to my phone like, like I do with my students in front of me, you know? So, I'm real, my YouTube channel is real, okay? Um, you know, I'm supposed to, you know, YouTube creator keeps saying like, you need to tell people to, you know, hit the subscribe and, and like and send you comments and all that. I don't, I don't care about none of that. Okay, because that, I'm thankful for YouTube because it's free and it's been a lifeline for me uh, to my students and my families. Now, I do want to share a quote with y'all. This is, um, this just popped up. And, I, and I'm a quote person, I love quotes. And when I graduated from college, my first degree was associate's degree at Columbus State. Here in Columbus, that's right. And, and Miss Mick is a graduate of East High School um, in the city of Columbus. So I am, I, I used to be my students, okay? I was, I was you, all right? I went to West Mound Elementary, went to Hiltonia Middle School, went to East High School and Fort Hayes Career Center. Anyway, so in college, uh, my professor, Carrie, she, when I graduated class in 1999, she gave us, um, the five of us, which I still have our picture. Look at this. This is a picture of, um, of my cohort that graduated from Columbus State. And I, I love that picture. And I'm still in contact with one of the ladies in that picture. I've, I've kind of lost contact with the, uh, one of the others that I was really close with. I need to find out where she is. Tawana Butler. If anybody knows Tawana Butler in this picture, um, tell her to find Miss Mick because uh, her and I were close that semester and I, I need to follow up on with that. And that was in, that was in 1999. We graduated um, March of 1999 from Columbus State. So she gave me this. So that's where the quote comes for today. And usually I do, um, with my high school kids, I do Thursday thoughts, which is a quote, but you know, it's Wednesday, word genius Wednesday day. So, um, and they're just doing review. I don't, I didn't give new words today, this week. So for today is, no, today's the 14th. It says, um, and this is from, like I said, Professor Carey. And she's, she's passed away. She's no longer with us, but wonderful teacher lady, mentor of mine. So glad that I had her as an advisor. She gave me this, and this is put together by a, an educator lady called Mary Kay Shanley. I don't really know her, but I do like her thing, and then I add to it. I've been adding to it since 1999. So October 14th quote from Mary Kay Shanley is, Homework is not a dirty word. Homework is not a dirty word, okay? So kids, my, my uh, first graders who are doing all of their work from home, right? I mean, everything is homework for you. It's not a dirty word. Teachers don't assign things. Edgenuity doesn't assign you things. Google Classroom doesn't assign you things because we want you to be angry, all right? Cognitive learning says that when you, when you want to say a dirty word because of your homework, schoolwork, it's because your brain is like, I can't do this, and I'm, I'm angry, and Ur. okay. And then Miss Mick always says that's when you need to be like, 
I'm going to struggle through this because I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to ask questions and I'm going to figure this out. And if I got to redo, I'm going to redo. Right. And then my littles, I always say, that's that moment when your brain is hurting and you're thinking, and this is too hard. You're trying to write that letter D and it's just not looking right. I want you to take a deep breath. Give yourself, you know how you blow people a kiss like, well, Miss Davy, my other mentor friend, she works at Highland now, but she says, kiss your brain, okay? And you're gonna be all right, all right? And your teachers, we're here, we're gonna get you there. So the other thing on my social media uh, that popped up is, it is easier to build a child than it is to repair an adult. Okay? So it's easier to build a child than it is to repair an adult. So to my parents and my children today, before I sign off, well, before I sign off for the morning, um, what does this mean? Okay, well, we are building your children together, okay? I'm just one little part, one little piece, like I always say, of the village that it takes to raise a child, okay? I am like, that cough drop <clears throat> has really helped because I'm, I'm like not coughing like I was at 3.30 a.m. this morning. So, we've got to make sure that we have the right people in our village. And if we don't, we ask for support. We keep asking, okay? So I don't have all the answers. You guys have gotten emails back from me. I tell you, I gotta ask somebody. I'll tell you, like, call this number, leave a message, call your home school. You know, I don't know. That's, that's all I know to do. And that's, I do try to find out. You should see my emails that I send to school counselors and, um, support teachers and uh, everybody on your child's behalf. So we got to do that because it's easier to build a child than it is to repair an adult. And that popped up in my Facebook, um, something from the positive thoughts for this morning. I don't know. You know, just like you, when I'm bored or I'm waiting on my um, computer download, look at, look at this, like, this is in my bedroom office, right? So I'm waiting on that to download or upload or whatever it does. Um, <clears throat> you know, I might like, oh, you know, just scroll on something and something pops up, right? Um, just like you do. So, you know, um, the, the teaching union and Columbus City School says, you know, teachers got to watch what they post and all this stuff. And, and I'm all like, I, I'm an open book. I'm a realist. I don't, I mean, I don't know what you want from me, but, um, I chose this pathway or, or this career path or no, I think it shows me because I don't remember not teaching. I've always been an older sister. I have a brother and a sister and I'm the oldest sister. Um, and, um, they'll tell you, like, I was always playing school. I don't know. So I, I don't know who chose who, but I'm here. You guys have my Google Voice number. Um, you have my personal and private emails. Um, so, uh, you know, send me a message. And, and if I'm not coughing or don't have a headache, I'll read it and I will forward it. I will ask some questions. I'll do, I'll do whatever that is, okay? Because that's what I'm paid to do, even though I'm on paid sick time right now. Thank goodness I have paid sick time. Okay, I give monthly to things like the Holy Family Soup Kitchen um, because I don't have to go to a food pantry right now. And I know that some of, of you um, get your food from different places. And um, thank goodness, if you need some resources, let me know because I know quite a few that can help you get some food. Okay, children too, you message me. I will send you send you to a place that will give y'all some free food, okay? So I'm signing off because I'm talking too long, too long. First graders, I will see you later. 
at, at the new video times because of my 5 p.m. Uh, therapy. All right. And I'm I'm wearing a hat. Sorry, because I was coughing and I you can't do all the hair when you're when you're not 100 percent, you know, like my high school kids say, you wrap your hair up. OK, now, Miss Mick, I don't I don't pretend, but I have alopecia. So when I do my hair, right, I have alopecia, which is like, you know, unexplained hair loss, blah, blah, blah. So I got patchy, thin, you know, you don't even want to know. Um, so I put a, uh, I clip on a wig piece and then I got to blend it all together and all that, pro you know. Hair is, can be a process. And I know my first graders, like some of y'all, you don't listen to your parents and you don't get your, you know, hairbrush and stuff. You, you need to get... Let your parents help you, help them, and brush your hair, brush your teeth, right? I mean, you, we got to do these things, okay? So, I'll, saw you, I'll see y'all later, all right? So, um, message me. The Google Classroom has everything you need. It's, got, it's all on it, all right?